I have never been tempted to write a memoir. But I really honestly believe the way what George Orwell said, and he said the uh, memoir, the autobiography, is the worst form of fiction ever devised. And he said because people are willing to confess to anything colorful or exciting. Yeah. They murdered somebody or they, they smoked a lot of dope or, mm. you know, it could be almost anything. Uh, except for the humiliations. They will never write about the humiliations, which he said make up 75% of life. Uh, and I couldn't agree more with that. I, I could not bring myself to, I'll tell you just one humiliation I cannot get out of my mind. You'll think I'm crazy for even thinking of it now. One night, I used to live on Beekman Place, and it was a snowy night, uh, I mean, a really bad snowstorm, and I left my building and went out to um, First Avenue <clears throat> to get a taxi. And there were no taxis. It was such a terrible night. And in the middle of the street was a great big guy who was looking this way and looking there, obviously looking for a taxi. Well, I had a tr trick up my sleeve. I knew that there was a little restaurant half a, oh, a quarter of a block away that somebody was going to come. It was a popular restaurant. People, somebody was going to come there in a taxi. So sure enough, somebody came up, a taxi stopped, and I headed toward it. Next thing I know, this big guy running down the slope, that street, and he, he almost went crashing into me, but it was a very aggressive, he didn't crash, but it was a very ag aggressive uh, uh, move. And he said, that's my taxi. And I said, well, why? And he said, because I was waiting for it. I've been waiting out here for all this time. Well, this is where the arguments uh, began. Um, and what I should have done is probably something that would have been very foolish, which is to somehow physically strike back, but I didn't. That would have been the manly thing to do. Uh, I listened to the argument, and the next thing I know, out of the back seat comes this old couple going to the restaurant. They're so slow, the limbs are moving so slowly that my assailant runs around to the other side of the taxi, jumps into the door, and the driver's tired of this whole argument, and, and he drives off. Now, why has that, to this day, that whole scene bothers me tremendously. What year was this? Oh, my God. When did I leave Beekman Place? <laughs> it goes back to 19, maybe 66. And why do you think that this sticks with you so much, this weird kind because of... I didn't, is it a humiliation in some way? It was a humiliation because I didn't do the manly thing and somehow yeah. put this guy in his place, which probably would have been looking at it extra environmentally, as Marshall McLuhan used to say. Um, it would have been foolish to do what I should have done, <laughs> which is somehow cold cock, this guy, as they used to say. Um, but it, I can't get rid of it. Well, that Orwell's right. You know, these things you can't get out of your, you just can't get out of your system.